I now want to introduce to you our another good friend, Father Michael Judge, a senior monk of the St. Francis of Assisi Church and Monastery in New York. They are monks downtown, uptown, 96th Street, Bronx, and constantly doing the work of charity, the legendary spirit of St. Francis. Gentle, genial, companionable, and humble, Father Michael endears himself to those who come into contact with him. In this large and sometimes impersonal New York City, he ranks high as a friend of those in need. In addition to his other duties, Father Michael has been serving for many years as the chaplain of the fire department of the city of New York. Wherever anybody dies in fire, Father has to go, console them, or give the prayer. Over the years, Father Michael has always been there for our center. He spoke at our 87 special service in the community church, again in the United Nations in 93. He has always been gracious. This time when we called him, he said, since you are calling me, means you need me. It is certainly we need him just to see the man and to hear his words for whom there is no theory but only practice. It is always a joy and an inspiration for us to meet and listen to the words of Father Michael. I cordially invite Father Michael to come to the podium. Good afternoon, everyone. When I received the call, I was so honored. Can you imagine what was then a young little boy from downtown Brooklyn who received the call to, um, to become a Franciscan friar and monk? Years later, was called from all the Franciscans in the to New York and the New Jersey area to speak today at this celebration, 100 years, 100 years. And here I am. I'm honored. I, I, I'm, I'm deeply honored. I, I am, I am, I am. Our tradition, as with the continuation of the Hebrew tradition, your Hindu tradition, the Muslim tradition. It's about service. It's about service. It's about praise to God. But we praise God when we, when we serve His people, His creation, when we serve ourselves, when we serve each other. And that's what it's about. When our great teacher, Jesus, came, He came, as He said over and over again, not to be served, but to serve, to serve. And so when you celebrate a tradition so beautiful, Ramakrishna, then uh, you celebrate service. It's something that's innate in all of us. It's a gift that, that, that God gives us. This simple, simple, simple lesson. When the Son of Man comes in all his glory, and all the angels with him, the Son of Man himself, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and then all the nations of the world will be assembled before him. And then he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on the right and the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you are blessed by my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me to eat. I was thirsty. And you gave me to drink. 
I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. And I was ill, and you cared for me. And I was in prison, in prison, and you came and you visited me. And then the, uh, the righteous people will look at him and they'll say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you a drink? When did we see you as a stranger and welcome you? Or naked and clothe you? When did we see you in prison, if we could, and visit you? And then the teacher will say, Amen, 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 I say to you, as often as you did it for the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it for me. Ah. When God gives us gifts, ah, he gives them for one reason, that we use them for his glory, for our good, and for the good of his creation. Where do you learn about these gifts? How do you understand how to use them? I'll, I'll go back. Fifty years ago, this, this September, I went away to become a Franciscan monk. I've been at it 50 years. And it's been a glorious life. And um, in my community, you take the vows of, um, of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Poverty, that you don't own anything. We don't own anything. And chastity, that you, uh, you stay celibate. You don't marry. Yeah, if we don't have children and family. And obedience, that you do the will of the, of the community. That's how God speaks to us, through each other. Poverty, chastity, and obedience. In the tradition of Francis of Assisi, 800 years, uh, and he told us, don't own anything. Just get up and go where you are sent, two by two, and preach the good news. And whatever they put in front of you, eat. And wherever they give you a pillow or a rock, yeah, just, just lie there. And just trust me. And trust my faith in the teacher, in the Christ, and all will be well. That's the service of the poor and the hungry and the naked and those sick and those in prison. That's the service of them in the tradition of, of Jesus Christ. Oh, I was hungry and he gave me to eat. And I was thirsty and he gave me to drink. And you know, he says, he doesn't say, if they look good. He doesn't say that at all. And if you go through the scripture on Christ the teacher, you find out that the people who came looking for things from him are usually blind. And they're with canes. And they got sores and they smell and they're dirty and they haven't showered. And yet he went out to them and said, oh, oh, what do you wish? I'd like to see. Rub it into the dirt. And take the mud, the life of the spittle and the, the dirt. Oh, yeah. Put it on his eyes or her eyes. Here, now, go, see. Oh, wow, how wonderful. Service. All the great teachers and all the great religions, they all talked about service. And it's been handed down, and we, and we have teachers in our own age, in our own time, who take the tradition and the principles and the sayings and make them alive. And somehow we get caught back with them and they're good and they're wonderful but they're gone now it's you it's you and it's me it's, it's not them it's you and me because we are in the now this is reality it's here and when he was saying about feeding the hungry and, and he wasn't just talking to them he was talking to me in my tradition today and you and yours it's not then, it's now. Take a moment out. It's very hard. But you know, the more you do it, 
In the beginning, it's hard. You don't know how to say something, so you drop the money and you run. And you drop the money and you run. Or you make the visit and you don't know what to say and you stand there. But then, when you do it often enough, words come, and feelings come, and tears come, and laughter comes. And it has meaning. And it's not as difficult as it's put up to be. I often think when when we come to the next life, how great it's going to be. When, um, When I think that everyone's going to be physically in the best moment that they were on earth. When you are absolutely gorgeous, what do you want now? But when you are absolutely perfectly gorgeous, that's how you're going to be. And then God is going to come and Oh, in the midst of all of us, as he is now, but we're going to see him physically. And he's going to say, come, come. I was hungry, and you gave me to eat. And I was thirsty, and you gave me to drink. You know, I was naked, and you clothed me. And I was in prison, and you came to visit me. And, uh, oh, I don't remember that, Lord. I don't remember that. You don't have to. You did. Today, come alive. Celebrate a hundred years of service, but that's history. Today we're in reality. And I'm the richest man in New York City, despite the poverty. I'm the richest man in New York City. To see the face of God in each one of them, he took a moment out of a very busy schedule to create them in the womb of some mother. It's some mother's son, some mother's daughter. Wow. So take care of them. It's hard, but I'm there to help you and to give you the grace to do it. Put your hand in mine, walk with me, he says, and all will be well. 100 years. Let's really make the next 100 years really wonderful. Happy anniversary. Father Michael, I thank you profoundly for your wonderful words. You always inspire us by your presence. May we have many more occasions to come together and have your company. 